Hi, this is Ryan Oakley, and this is the free online course, Create a Gorgeous Website with Squarespace, a step-by-step -step guide for beginners. This is video six, and in this video, we're gonna be creating the about page. Okay, so now we've made the contact page and we've done some customization. Uh, let's go on to a, a page that has a, a few more complex elements in it and create that together. So we can either click on the about page here or go to pages and let's just do that. Go to pages and then click on the about and it'll take us over to the about page where we can add some content to it. <clears throat> so I'm going to look at what my about page looks like in Safari and this is the, the finished product here. So here we've got some some big, big text which is the header one text. Um, header two text, we've got an image, we've got some hyperlinks, um, we've created some um, lines to separate this section out, we've got a donate button, uh, some more images and some more text, um, we've got a video here, this is a, a YouTube video that's linked in, we've got an audio piece right here, and then some more text. Um, so I'll skip pretty pretty quickly through the um, the text and the images because we've already done a lot of that but I'll definitely show you how to do these other other elements and how to lay out this page the way we want it to be all right so let's get started so first thing we do is we hover into our page content and hit edit and now we can add whatever we want so the first thing we're going to add is um, some text and that text is that headline so I'm gonna click through it and copy and paste it and it's going to paste in as normal text and obviously we want it uh, to be bigger and bolder so we're going to go headline one and you notice it's centered on the page so that's really easy to change is we just head over here and hit the center button so there that's done let's go ahead and add this image in next so to add an image or any block we just highlight over um, the teardrop where we want to insert text and we or insert whatever we want and click the button and find the image block. We're going to add an image here and I believe it is going to be this one at the end. Click into that, let that load in. And we are going to have a caption below it because this image wasn't taken by me so I'm going to give some image credit and I'll show you how to do that. And we don't need to click, uh, have it clickable and lead to anything. So we'll just leave that these other options off. Once that processes, we will click save. And one of the nice features of Squarespace is the images that you put in can kind of be at any size and they'll resize it for the web um, in automatically for you, which is pretty sweet. Um, not every system is as, as uh, handy as that. Okay, so there's our image. We'll go ahead and click save. And before we do anything, we'll we'll put in our caption, and we, our caption is that this photo was taken by Lisa Seyfried, a friend of mine. So photo by Lisa Seyfried, and you'll notice that Lisa Seyfried is a, a hyperlink, and that leads to her website. So if I click on that, a new um, tab opens up in the browser to her website. So I'm gonna copy and paste using control C that uh, hyperlink because I'm going to need to use it right now. So if I highlight over her uh, her name and click this little link button, it looks like a little chain, I can edit the link and this option comes up and I can just command V or control V and paste in the hyperlink. And I usually, um, depending on what it is, but most of my uh, links, especially if they link to somebody else's page, I'll always toggle this open a new window button. Um, just as you noticed in the other site, um, it created a new tab um, and kept my existing site up for people, for visitors to stay onto. Because otherwise, if I didn't do that, someone clicked here, they would leave my page altogether and maybe that'd be the, you know, they'd, I wouldn't have their attention anymore. So I want to create a new window. So that's what that does. So I can click out of that and it'll save automatically. I want to add some text which will go to uh, which will go beside the photo. And here's this text here and I'm going to go ahead and just again just copy and paste this text in. It just makes it easier for me and faster. Um, but it, it brings it in without um, without the right kind of fonts or um, without the header 
stuff in it. So this one, uh, this about the project is a header too. So I'm gonna change that. All this text is good, but you will notice that there's hyperlinks in here and there. Um, you know, like this Humans of New York is a hyperlink. You can see if I click on it, it, it pops up. Um, and one of the things I'll change in a bit is the color of this hyperlink, because right now the hyperlinks just get lost in the rest of the text. You want your hyperlinks to stick out. So eventually I'm gonna change these to blue. But for now, we'll just leave it as it is. So if we click um, away from it, that'll kind of save. Now I wanna start moving things around on my site so that it starts to look how I want it. So I'm gonna, anywhere on this image, I'm gonna left click and hold and start dragging it around until I get it to where I want. Um, and depending on what you want, um, you need to just kind of play around with things uh, to figure out what, um, you know, if I move it into here, for instance, where it's got the black box, it, it this means that the text will kind of wrap around the image. So let's just show you what that would look like because I can always change it. Um, so you can see how the text kind of wrapped down below here. And if I resize this image, um, more of the text kind of comes around it. So now I can drag and drop this and move it into other areas. Um, and I want to create that two column effect. So I do that by uh, by lining it up over into the left here and getting that line. And then once I get the line, I can release. And there, now we've got it the way we want it. Um, so we'll go back to our site and we'll see like, yep, that, lo that looks pretty good. Now the next thing we've got is this line that goes all the way across. So what the heck is that? How do we make that happen? So it's just a, it's just a block. So um, we click on this teardrop and we find under more, we find this line. So we hit that and boom, shows up. And uh, next we have a bit more text. So that's easy enough to do. We can just copy and paste this text in, just all of it like that. And under you rock, we want that to be nice and big. So that's gonna be heading one. And you notice with this text, it's all centered. So just like before, we just grab it all and move it into the center. Okay, the next thing is the donate button. Sweet, I like donations, so let's uh, let's throw that in and show you what that looks like. So again, we just hover underneath, and now we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for commerce. Under commerce, we got products, Amazon donation. So there's our donation button. You can click on that, and there it is over there. Um, we've got a few things to, uh, to throw into this donation um, button. Um, the title is going to be support this project. And the short description is 100% of every donation goes towards new camera gear to help me take the best portraits I can. Knowing that the Humans and Nelson project is a photography project, that seems relevant. So when someone hits the donate button, they'll be taken to a page and I'll show you this later. And this is the information that will come up just to let them know what this donation thing is all about. Um, I don't mind the donation title in the button, but you can always change that if you want. And under button alignment, I like it to be centered with the rest of the page. Now I'll go over to these other tabs here just to show you what's in there. You can change the suggested amounts and I like them as they are. And you can also, um, when someone fills out the form to leave a donation, you can add additional um, form, um, uh, what's the word? like additional information that a, a customer or, or someone donating can leave. I'm just leaving that blank. So go ahead and hit save. And that looks really good. So instead of you watching me um, fill out more text and more images, you've already seen that me do that. So I'm just going to um, go away and populate the site with those elements they already know how to do. Um, but then I'll come back and I'll show you how to do uh, the video and the audio block, which is something unique to this page. All right, I'll see you in a second. Okay, I've added a bunch of text and um, some images and things like that. One of the things I wanted to show you was resizing images. So by default, uh, you know, when you have two columns like this, it'll make the columns the same. In this case, I don't want my ugly mug to be um, so big. So I can squish things down and move it over until I get it to the size that I want, which is, um, I think that size, yep. 
Uh, so that <laughs> looks good there. Okay, next we're going to add a video. Uh, this is fairly straightforward to do. You can see, um, like I sh in the live site, under In the Media, I've got this uh, interview that I did uh, for a TV channel here, and it's, it, it's in YouTube. So um, I've got that all lined up. So what we do is we just <clears throat> we can just hover over, um, add a new block, and this time we click on the video block. And it's going to say, what's the video URL? And I've got that all lined up here. So I'm going to copy the URL and just paste it in, Control V. Um, and then I think I'm going to have, do not display caption. So it automatically populated the, um, uh, the description from YouTube as the caption. And I don't want that as a caption. So I am going to say display the caption below. But I'm gonna. But instead of this, I'm gonna. I just want it to say uh, Shaw TV interview. So that got changed right there. And then I also noticed that this thumbnail that's there is grainy and not very good. So I'm gonna show you a sneaky little trick to um, to get yourself a really nice thumbnail that looks good for your video. Okay, my sneaky trick to uh, change this thumbnail into something that looks better is to go into my video and I've found a spot where I think the video image is good. Here it's got this title, uh, my name in it and all that stuff um, and I'm not making some funny weird face and it looks pretty good. Then I use a screen capture tool, I use Snagit, um, to take a, take a snapshot of this photo and when I do that I am able to save this photo as an image onto my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. And then I'm going to go back to my Squarespace site and under add a thumbnail, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to go find this screen capture I just grabbed and add that in. It's going to take a second to load in. It's just processing. Okay, so I've loaded the custom thumbnail in, but I need to uh, toggle this switch here, which it says use custom thumbnail. So I'm gonna hit that. So th that loads in and that looks really good. So I'm gonna hit save on that. So that's how you put in a video. And the next sneaky little thing I have on my site is uh, a little, audio interview that I want to put in there as well. So let's find the audio block. So now I'm going to hit on one of these teardrops. If I hit on a teardrop with the big line, it's going to be full screen. If I hit the teardrop that just has the half line, it's just going to go in this half of the, um, of the, uh, of the site. So I'm going to hit that, find the audio block. So I want to go, go add an audio track. I can do that here. And where is it? I'm going to go find it. And it is right here, this interview. Click on that and let it load in. Just takes a second. And while that loads in, I know what the track title is going to be. The track title is going to be Juice FM Radio Interview. So click into that and go Juice FM Radio Interview. And I love how things like update live, that's pretty sweet. And the track author is Juice FM. That's pretty cool. And I'm going to move over to the design. I, I don't really like this dark color, and there's another option. So um, I'm going to go with the lighter view, and there it is right there. And that all looks pretty sweet. So I'm going to hit save, and there it is. That's awesome. All right, we're getting pretty close to finishing off this page. One thing I do notice is this photo is actually down a little bit. Um, and so I'm going to move that, and then I'm going to have to show you what that does and what I need to do to fix it. Um, so if I scroll down and have the photo pop up just to the right of this text, you'll notice that the Juice FM interview audio block uh, went full screen, which makes sense, what it does. Now what do you do if you just want this to have some space in there? Well, there's actually a block you can use. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new block and go find under more this spacer block. 
So under the space, and all it is is just space, but what it can do is uh, some pretty sneaky little things to help you uh, move content around and have it show up the way you want it to. So I'm gonna drag on this and I'm gonna have it show up um, to the to the right of the Juice FM audio block. And you can see what it does, right? Like it just, it's white, nothing's there, um, but it does force the audio block to push over and not be so widescreen. Um, I really like that, that looks super good. One thing I did notice that I didn't do is I didn't do a caption for uh, uh, for Lisa's photo here. So I'm gonna add that into my photo, right like this, that's done. And I think the content portion of this about page is now done. So I'm gonna hit save and just have a, a quick look at it. I might hit the escape button so that it goes widescreen so I can have a look or click on that top arrow button and scroll down a bit. And yeah, that looks pretty, pretty sweet. I like it. Okay, so now there's a, a bit of um, styling work that we can do on this page um, before we leave it. Um, if we go back to home and go into design and the, to the style editor, um, the, probably the biggest change we need to do is um, our body link colors. Remember I was showing you, there's a whole bunch of hyperlinks in this page, but they really don't stick out. So if we scroll down, we'll see uh, body link color and body link hover color. So we wanna change those. So we're gonna change them to something that pops, something that people know that they're hyperlinks and they should, uh, they should link to them. So I like this blue color. So I'm gonna go 1443DD is a nice blue. And then the hover color is just something a little bit lighter. So when they hover over the text, they know it's a hyperlink. So I'm gonna go 758ACC. And this is just me playing around to figure out what these colors should be, uh, which is something you can do as well. Okay, so now the hyperlinks have this nice blue color and everything else looks really good. We did um, add in these um, um, heading headings, like the heading one and heading two, um, but I actually like the text, the font, uh, and the color, so I'm just gonna leave them as they are, but now is the time, now that they're in here, uh, for you to change them if you want, but I'm gonna leave them. All right, that's it for this. Uh, the next one up is we're gonna do the homepage.